Hello dear students, welcome back to another wonderful session of amazing world of science and uh, where we are doing line to line NCRT from uh, classes 8 to 12 and mainly we are focusing on uh, class 10 and class 12 and also uh, we are doing simultaneously classes 9, 11 as well. So, if you all remember we had already started chapter 2. Uh, class 9 science NCRT is matter around us pure. I hope you went through the uh, different uh, you know what is the concepts like what is a mixture and we also learnt about different types of mixtures ok. Then we were talk, talking about what is a solution and uh, a different type of uh, you know homogeneous heterogeneous mixtures and all that and we learnt about properties of a solution and uh, we had also done a problem to calculate the concentration in terms of mass by mass percentage of solution ok. Now, today we will begin with what is meant by suspension. So, it is a very common term which we use in science ok. Uh, so, suspension is nothing but it is a heterogeneous mixture in which solute particles do not dissolve, but remain suspended throughout the bulk of the medium and these particles you can uh, see with naked eye ok. So, suspension is heterogeneous mixture normally you can see that uh, see in homogeneous mixture like uh, sugar uh, in water a whole of the sugar will dissolve in water right, but here the particles will not dissolve see uh, if you take some water and put some sand particles in it you know sand will not dissolve in water is not it. You can see with your naked eye that the sand particles are you know uh, distributed all over the spread the spreading all through the solution that is what we call as suspension. So, what are the properties of a suspension? First thing suspension is a heterogeneous mixture remember that and second point is particles of suspension you can see by naked eye. Third particles of suspension they can scatter light beams passing through it and make its path visible. So, uh, when light uh, uh, light waves pass on these particles in a suspension these particles can scatter or spread out these light rays so that you can uh, see the path of the light rays ok. Now, uh, one another point is that solute so particles settle down when a suspension is left undisturbed that is a suspension is unstable if you keep a suspension for a long time you can see that see the sand the case of sand itself it will settle down at the bottom of the vessel which you are taking and the upper part will be clear filtrate ok and um, you can separate from the mixture by using filtration. So, when the particles settle down uh, it does not uh, scatter rays anymore. Now, next we will discuss about uh, I hope uh, you understood about the suspension and it is very clear to you. Now, we will see what is meant by colloidal solution see uh, the particles of colloid are uniformly spread throughout the solution and the size or the particle size is too small when you compare it with that of suspension. So, it looks like the mixture is homogeneous that is we feel that it this the whole part of the solute has dissolved in the solution, but it is not like that. Uh, colloidal solution example you can see milk can you see with your uh, naked eye uh, the suspended particles no because the particles are too small to be seen with the naked eye and but they can easily scatter a beam of visible light ok and uh, we call the scattering of beam of light as Tyndall effect it is very important remember the name and uh, after the scientists who gave or who discovered this phenomena Tyndall effect. Now, you can also observe this Tyndall effect uh, when a beam of uh, light enters a room through a small hole it happens due to the scattering of light by particles of dust and smoke in air. See if you uh, you can see here solution of copper sulphate uh, it does not uh, show Tyndall effect, but mixture of water and milk shows Tyndall effect ok. Remember so, because you know when does the substance show Tyndall effect because the particles uh, if they have a tendency to scatter the light rays only then they can show the Tyndall effect. Suppose if you enter a dark room you know uh, which has a small hole somewhere you can see the beam of the sun is shining through the hole means you can see that uh, there's particles or some type of particles the path is visible ok that is what we call Tyndall effect. So, next we will see uh, uh, the point that Tyndall effect is observed when sunlight passes through canopy of dense forest see here you can see 
okay that in the forest you can see that uh, mist has got very very small droplets of water so that is what is acting as a particle for colloid dispersed in air so here the dispersion of light is done by the particles like uh, droplets of water which is found in mist inside forest now we will see about the properties of colloid so it is a heterogeneous mixture and size of the uh, particle it's too small to be seen with uh, naked eyes then uh, colloid particles are big enough to scatter light beams passing through it and so they make the path of the rays visible and they do not settle down when left undisturbed that is colloid is quite stable okay like uh, unlike suspension you know whereas in suspension the particle settles down but here in colloids it does not settle down that means that colloids are more stable than suspension you can see some examples for uh, colloids like uh, dispersed phase liquid i'll say about uh, the remaining one more property of uh, colloids that is they cannot be separated from the mixture by filtration but there is a very special technique known as centrifugation that is the only way you can separate the particles in uh, in the case of colloidal solution so you have to uh, now remember two important terms dispersed phase and dispersion media and uh, these two are the components of a colloidal solution solute like component or the dispersed particles is called the dispersed phase and the component in which the dispersed phase is suspended that we call as dispersion medium colloids can be classified according to the state whether it is solid liquid or gas of the dispersion dispersing medium and dispersed phase so you, you are given a table here from this you can easily understand see aerosol aerosol that is example for clouds mist and all that here dispersed phase is liquid dispersing medium is gas and the type is aerosol so you have got a few examples here then smoke automobile exhaust and all that it's aerosol then it's solid and gas dispersed phase and dispersing medium and uh, gas liquid that is form a uh, shaving cream and all that now liquid liquid that is emulsion solid liquid sold gas solid form liquid solid gel solid 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 sold then you can see uh, examples milk face cream and uh, here solid milk of magnesia mud then gas solid form rubber sponge and all that then liquid solid gel jelly cheese butter solid 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 it is colored gemstone and uh, milky glass and all that okay now so uh, next class we'll be learning about the separating uh, of the separating the components of a mixture so many different methods are there which is very important so uh, now today i think you would have understand understood clearly about uh, what we discussed that is first we discussed about uh, suspension and then we talked about colloid okay uh, now uh, we'll wind up for today and uh, many of you are watching the channel without subscribing to it do kindly uh, subscribe share with your friends and like our channel and uh, if you want you can put good comments as well and uh, your support is our strength so do keep watching and press the bell icon so that as soon as we post new videos you'll get immediately uh, notifications regarding that thanks for watching the video